Hi guys, it's me Karen and welcome back to my channel. We're going to do part two of this little froggy over here. We are working in Ken Masuda coloring book and you can find this either on Etsy or Amazon Japan. So I mean you can just look it up on Etsy as the Ken Masuda coloring book. That's the title of the book. Okay, if anybody was interested. Okay, we're going to do a little frog. We did all this in part one. We're going to do part two. I'm going to bring in some colors for the mushrooms. Um, kind of got some muted colors here. So we have um, Kaput Mortem and Kaput Mortem Violet. Uh, Indian Red. Do, 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 find it. Sanguine and uh, this one is cadmium orange. So nice colors. We're going to put some of this cadmium orange. I tried it out here on um, the eye of this frog. We're going to throw some of this in here on both of these or all of these I should say. <laughs> both of these eyes of the frogs. So we've got a little froggy up here. He can get some of that in his we're also going to put a little in this little guy up here. Just brighten him up a little bit. Put some on his cheeks over here. Down his back, we're going to go up the mushrooms. We want some of that in there. And that's the stem of the leaf. We're going to put some in there. Some in these little things that are sprouting. <laughs> Mushrooms down here. And we're going to put a little in this um, mossy area. Okay, a little up here in the mossy area of his head too. Okay, go down here and we're going to add some of this into this little guy's eye on his elbow, coming up on his back a little and up here on his head. His knee here too. And a little bit on his hand. This little guy who gets all the colors <laughs> is going to get a little bit of it in here. A little bit in his eye. And a little on his little fingers and toes. A little on the knee. Okay. So how's everybody doing? I hope you're all well. Put some on the toes in here too. I find all his toes. <laughs> Remember, I missed some on the first go round. Don't want to be missing them again. Okay, got a lot of the orange over here. We should put a little bit more over here. All right. 
on the mushrooms we want to put a little of this on one side of it We can put a little in these little tiny leaves too, just to brighten them up a little bit. Maybe a little under his mouth here. Mushrooms. We're going to bring in the sanguine here. I'm probably pronouncing all these names incorrectly, so please don't yell at me. I'm going to mix that right in with the one I just used, which was cadmium orange. <laughs> These are kind of like flat little mushrooms, so we're going to try to keep them that way. Okay, we got little babies down here. And some little baby guys down in here. And we'll bring in some Indian red. Do we have any mushrooms up here <laughs> that I don't know about? Those guys could be mushrooms, I don't know. But we'll bring some of that color up there too. Okay, now we have the two cup of mortems that we could use. So I'm going to kind of bring some of these lines up into the mushroom. I guess this is a mushroom too. So we just kind of curl up those sides there in the direction of the mushroom going to the center. And then these little ones just kind of go around the bottom. They're a little harder to see. We're also going to bring some of that into the stems. I think that still goes up to that leaf. So underneath here where it's nice and dark. This mushroom is really dark so we'll just put that in there. And then we'll add a few of these in the um, mossy areas. Just kind of throw some color in there, here and there. Throw a little of this under his chin too, up in his eye. Area. I 
And we're going to go under his lip with this. I need to turn the book back. So I can get right under here. Now this little guy up here, we'll do the same thing under his lip. You really can't see this guy's lip, but it's right around there. And he got a teeny tiny widow mouth right there. So we'll get him. Okay, and the mushrooms now we're going to bring in the Caput Mortem Violet and just kind of go in the spaces. That we want to darken up just a bit more. All right, I'm going to darken up his mouth just a little bit more here. Go right into here and go down the side. Okay, we're going to sharpen up the black. Might want to bring in the Prisma black. It's just a little darker. do. Just a little bit of that black under there. Underneath everybody's mouth. Deepen those eyes a little bit. And all the frogs. Okay, they look pretty good. 
I haven't highlighted any of their eyes yet, so I'm not going to worry about that until the end. Darken these up a little here, too. All right. Just a little bit more of that orange in here. Brighten that side up a little. <laughs> All right, I um, guess we should do some leaves. Uh, the mushrooms aren't quite done. I need to get a little cream in them, the tops, and down on the bottoms. Put some of that cream in here too. And we can pull some of that cream right down into the pink. Lightly bring that into the center of the frog. There are some of those into the, I don't know what those are, little dudes coming up here. I'm going to pull some of that into the leaves, coming out towards the edges. Okay. Let's see. What color are you? Ivory. We're going to see if we can't put some ivory in here, too. Sorry about the sharpening. Okay, ivory just on the top. Pull some in here too.
Okay, hopefully you followed all that. <laughs> I'm just going around and blending and muting down some areas. Now, that is the whole trunk here, so... We will have to throw some color in there. There we go. Boom. <laughs> All right. Do, 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 do. my watch. There. Okay. Let me get out some uh, colors for the leaves and I will be right back. Okay. Don't know if I'll use them all, but I grabbed a whole bunch of these. Uh, some of them are the same color of the frog and then I brought in extra colors like the chrome oxide green we have the chromium green opaque we have the earth green we used in the frog I have a walnut brown we did not use yet <laughs> light green we used in the frog uh, permanent green olive I'm not sure but I thought we used it olive green yellowish we did green gold we did not <laughs> and juniper green which is a new one too so I'm going to take the big leaf on the top first because, well, it's the big leaf and everybody else will get done basically the same. Okay. <laughs> first off, I'm going to take um, the white Prisma and I'm going to lay down some of that so I don't lose my highlights in my um, leaf here. So I'm going to go the dark, dark, and we want this as a highlight. We kind of want it coming up here into this area. So we're going to bring that up. We're going to have a highlight probably on the other side of this coming up that way. I know you can't see it, but you'll see where the pencil line is going. We have one in here. And it's going to kind of go up in that area up here. When you come up, we'll have one kind of on the underside of the um, raindrop there. This is like a shadowed area, but we want a little bit of that coming in. We're going to want it underneath that raindrop. This raindrop is going to be coming down. We want it in there. Want it over here. This one. So you just kind of go where you think the lightness is going to be. It's going to go in here, and I'm not sure where that's dripping off, but we could have it dripping off of that one. And dark under here. And then kind of light up in these areas. Bring it in right through there. Okay, now doing that, I've mapped it out. When I put the color on top of it, it will not go over the white as much. So we're going to take our light, what is this one? Yep, it's just plain old light green. And we're going to start layering these colors in here. Like I said, where I have my white, it will not show up as much. I will probably be moving the book a bit. Sorry about that, but I have to map out my vintage here, and I want to get it going in the right direction. <laughs> if I don't do it in the right direction, I'm going to have a little bit of a problem.
So I'm just basically following the outside and bringing it up to where the shadow lines are and making some veins that are coming to the outside. Not really veins, they're just the crinkle of the leaf. Like this one is obviously here because they put in the darkness and I'll just pull it up to that little raindrop and then I'll just make my own where this one comes out. Kind of deepen that up and pull it in there. Okay, so that was our light green. We're going to throw a little of our light green in the raindrop. A light touch. Okay, next color. We'll go in with our earth green yellowish. Go on the one side of that line that we already put down. And bring it in. The area of the uh, leaf here is going to be really dark, so put that in there. Olive green yellowish. Deep in the side here. Dark. <clears throat> Excuse me, losing my voice. Okay, so we're going to um, use this and go underneath the um, water drops too and make that kind of darker. And this last one here. Okay. 
Okay. So we've kind of, I don't know, just darkened them up a little bit. So we'll know where they are, number one. <laughs> and then when we color them, we can get their highlights in the place that we want to get them. Okay, I'm going to turn this a little bit more. I'm going to darken this curl. And when I darken that, I want to bring a little of that up into this one. And then just softly bring it in. sharpen this it needs a sharper point just going to be outlining the whole leaf in the darker green and bringing up some of those lines Just keep going around and doing that until you get the colors you like. And listen to the traffic going down the road. <laughs> Sunny day, everybody's got to get out of their motorcycles. Okay, next color, go with some permanent green olive. The leaf kind of concaves into this area, so that's why it's getting the darkest colors. And you're just going to darken that and then bring that color out. all the way around and bring it all 
almost to the edge, but not quite. And you'll see a variation in color because there's white in some areas. Follow the leaf pattern, that's why I keep turning the book. Sorry. <laughs> going over the whole thing very lightly with this color. Put a little of that in those little raindrops. And then we will take a um, the brown. And we're going to put it in the center here. Darken up some of those veins that are going on in here. This is um, walnut brown. We want to make sure we get this dark under here. Just back in with the last green we used. Go over the brown a little bit more so it doesn't stand out too much. Okay, then we will bring in, I think I'll bring in the cream and just pull it up in some areas here. Get into our raindrops a little. Okay. Now, to do the raindrops, <laughs> we are going to bring in the white again. We're going to sharpen it to a point. We darkened the underside of that, so we want to lighten right, that's my fault, right above it. So we're going to take the white and just go underneath all the little raindrops. These little guys dripping. Okay. Then we're going to darken the upper portion. We're going to start off with the light green. Some of these have got enough light green in them, but this one did not. Okay, then we'll go to our next green, which is the, oh, that's not the one I used before, so we'll go with this one first. <laughs> the earth green yellowish. OK, 
Okay, I know I had an olive green here that I was using, but we're going to go in with the chrome green and opaque. And then, yep, we're going with the dark chrome oxide green. And I'm going to sharpen that because I need it sharper. Going to darken that edge leaving a tiny bit of a lighter color on the outside and then just blend it down and then our drips here whoa that was interesting that just came right out of that okay let me sharpen it again going to take a little longer this time. <laughs> oh. Okay, let's make sure that's not going to do that again. All right, it's here. I'm pull some of that up. Okay, and we're going to take Posca, make sure it works, <laughs> okay, we're going to go again on the bottom side here, it's kind of a light reflecting there, and then we're going to put a little light reflecting up at the top. On the drips that are coming down, we're going to take one side and then go down around the bottom. And pull the water up. I think we only have three of these here. So then we have our little raindrops. And I'm just going to continue to do that with the next three leaves. So I'll do the next three leaves off camera. We'll do the um, little uh, mushroom guys the same way. We have the cream on top. They have the shaded terribly well, so I'll put the cream in here because well, the mushroom's there. We want to um, add a little bit of the other colors because they'll reflect in here so we'll pull a little of that in there okay and we'll pull a little bit of the if that was put mortem in them could put mortem violet then we'll have the um, white on the top kind of reflecting that way and then the Posca
in like that. We can put another little one over here, just a little drop. You could have one dripping here if you want. So we just pull it down and make one here. We'll have to color that in with some color. So we'll pull in some of the red there, cream, and then pull in the drop just a little bit. Right there. We have a little drop down here. We'll do it the same as we did the ones above with the green in it. We have to color the leaf too. <laughs> so I'll get those colored and then I'll come back and we will do the background. Okay, I did a little test drive and we're going to ink uh, some um, evergreen bow and some speckled egg together. Uh, kind of blend it out to be like a little bit of water underneath here. And then I think I'll throw a little extra grass up in the area and make it kind of look like they're in the marsh with the water dripping on them. Um, it's going to be a very uh, relaxed look. <laughs> We're just going to bring up some grass blades here and just ink a color down at the bottom. I'm not one to draw a whole picture on the um, thing. So with these two little inks, I will, let's see, this one is the, um, Evergreen bow. Hmm, that's interesting. <laughs> I'm reading the bottom. Now on the big ones, they have the name on them, so if you lose the lid, you know what you're doing. This one has the initials. Hmm. Okay. And this one, speckled egg. I guess it's S E speckled egg. We're going to start with that color because I have that one on here. And again, I just ink up one corner of that since I'm going to be drawing it on in here. And it's kind of a bluish, um, well, it's a speckled egg. <laughs> it's a really pretty color. It's kind of like uh, a robin's egg, blue, with the speckles. So we're going to just go in here and add some of that in. Pull it out on the side a little bit. It's a really light color. I'm going to go up to his like knee here. So pull it out on that side around the knee area. And then pull it down in here. Okay, that's enough of that one. I have to change the pads because that goes in there. And this one goes on the other one. Okay. This is more of a um, turquoisey color. I'm going to just bring it on down. Kind of use that point as our, our lines. And we can get some waves going in there. I want it a little darker on this side. Get 
some under his foot here. There we go. We can use pencils and darken that up or shape it or whatever you want to do with it. We're going to bring some grass up here. So I'm going to use an ink and pull some color up there. Also, I have a green <clears throat> pad here. I'm not even sure what color I was using this one for, but I'm going to go in with some peeled paint. Put it on the lighter side. And we're just going to go around the frog here in these areas. Kind of pull it out a little bit. But we want to get in all those little uh, areas that don't have any color on it, basically. And then kind of use that little line that we have to pull up some lines. So we're going to use that as our grass blades. Okay. Looks kind of fun, doesn't it? We're going to take our pencil. This is the um, earth green yellowish. And we're just going to kind of follow that line out and make a blade of grass. Color it in just a teeny bit. Make sure you pull it all the way down. Here's another blade of grass and we'll just pull it up and pull it down. These do not have to go in any order. They're your blades of grass. You can make some nice and dark. Leave the ones that are behind nice and light. We have some already here. Add another one in if you like. This is still a little wet, so. <laughs> Maybe put a few of these in the water too. And then just use this to darken it up in the uh, spaces that the ink didn't get into or any areas that you want to get darker. And 
And maybe we'll just put a few in here too. We can add um, different colors too, so you can add a darker one in here. Remember, we're kind of in the marsh. So yeah, just pick up any of the colors that you had that you put in the frog, and you can add it, that in the grass. Remember, it's kind of a loose interpretation, so you don't have to be perfect with this. Just kind of get those colors in there. Poof. There we go. If you don't like any of the uh, grass that you put down, you can always uh, come in here with your eraser also. Like this one is kind of a big one, so we can take some of that out. You can use that while the ink is wet, because it still is a little bit. And actually add in some highlights if you want just to give it a little more dimension. You can do that with the water if the water is still wet. If we want a little line across here, we can put one in, give it a little wave type area. It will not take out a lot of the ink, but it will take out some. If you want to, you can also go in with a white pencil and accent that just a little bit more and put in some wave type action or just to highlight it a little bit. Okay, anything you want to do. Play it up a little bit. You can also throw some of that white up here in the background, too. Like if anything got dark. Okay. So that'll be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun with the little froggy. Yeah. And, uh, of course, all the little other froggies. So, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will leave a picture of him at the end of the video, so you can see a still picture without all the lights on. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful day. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye now. Take care, everyone.